Okay, so this is our problem. Number one, for our first topic, torsion in circular shop. Okay, so figure A shows a 2-inch diameter solid steel cylinder that is built into, into the support at C. Okay, and subjected to the torques TA and TB. Determine the maximum shear stresses in segments AB and BC of the cylinder. So number two, compute the angle of rotation of end A. So use G, the modulus of rigidity, is equal to 12 times 10 raised to 6 PSI for steel. Okay, so ano lang to? Um, solid steel cylinder sa buo siya. Okay, na steel cylinder. Okay, so ito yung ating uh, circular shaft. Yung ating point B is subjected to, okay, clockwise, 4,000 pounds feet. Then yung ating ano, uh, A is subjected to counterclockwise A. So, alalahanin natin yung sign convention natin. Kapag um, counterclockwise to the right, kapag clockwise to the left. Okay? So, gawin natin, i-drawing natin. Diba? Una natin, gagawin natin is, um, yan, draw natin FBD natin. Okay? Yan. So, this is point A. This is point B and this is point C. Then, hati sila. Okay? Ayan. Hati sila by segment. So, this is 3 feet and this is 5 feet. So, drawing natin yung ano natin? Um, mga torque. Okay? So, this is counterclockwise. So, to the right. Okay? So, this is 900. Okay? Then, ito, yung ating B is clockwise. So, to the left. Ayan. So, this is 400 pounds feet. Okay? So, magkakat tayo. So, sabi rin dito kasi, ano, shear stresses at segment A, B, and B, C. Ayan. So, kunin mo natin ito. Ayan. Sabi natin, um, ah, yes, uh, section A, A na lang. Then, mamaya naman sa A, B ito. So, this is section uh, BB. Okay? So, so, pagsunurin na natin. Okay? So, section BB muna tayo para AB yung ating makuha. Okay? So, rito. Ayan. So, ito yung ating port at A. This is 900. Okay? So, this is point P. So, this is the internal torque. So, obvious naman, di ba? Since to the right yung ating uh, vector vector na torque no, to the, uh, yes to the right headed ar uh, double headed arrow so ibig sabihin nito niyan is to the left okay so by ano parang gato lang din siya okay so summation of torque okay horizontal is equals to 0 then double headed arrow to the right is positive okay so sabihin natin ito ay ano torque AB ayan parang ganyan lang din siya Okay? So, torque A, uh, TAB. So, that, that is negative. TAB. So, ito naman is positive kasi to the right eh. Yun yung assumption natin. So, 900 is equals to 0. Okay? Therefore, ang ating torque at segment AB is equals also to 900 pounds feet. Pero, alalahanin natin, yung direction niya, okay, is to the left. So, ano yung ano natin dito? Ang direction na... Ay, sorry. Ah, yes. Direction niya is to the left. Ano yung sa rotation? Ang to the left natin is clockwise. Ayan. Okay? So, ganyan lang. So, next at section AA. So, at section AA... Ah, okay. So, nasakot na natin yung ating point B. Ayan. So, this is point A. This is our point B. So, sa point B... Ayan. Nandito yung ating torque na 400 na directed to the left. So, 400. So, sa ating A naman, nandito yung ating torque na directed to the right. Okay. So, obvious naman kung sino mas mahina, siya yung nangangailangan ng dagdag na force para mag-equilibrium tayo. Tama ba? Yun yung naturo natin sa static of rigid bodies or natutunan natin sa static of rigid bodies. So, since mas mahina yung 4,000, 400. So, kailangan niya ng tulong. So, yung ating ano, direction sa BC is to the left. Okay? 
or kung magkamali ka man rito sa assumption, pwede mo naman siya makorek sa ating equilibrium condition. So, ulitin natin. So, summation of torque, horizontal, is equals to zero. Ayan. Okay, double-headed arrow to the right is positive. Ayan. So, ito nyan is to the left. So, negative T, PC, minus 400, kasi to the left. Okay. Kahit pala wala na tong ano, sorry, um, kahit wala pala tong horizontal, kasi halos ano naman to eh, pahiga. So, ang gawin natin, para mas magkaintindihan tayo, summation of torque na lang. Ayan. So, summation of torque. So, ito, summation of torque. Sa iba naman, sa ibang book, summation moment. Okay? Pwede rin naman. So, ito nyan, plus 900 is equals to 0. So, yung ating, ano, uh, torque TBC, so, para mas sure, mas gawin natin, ano, um, ship solve. Okay? So, negative x minus 400 plus 900 is equals to 0. Para agad yun na ikita dito yung sign. So, since positive to, ibig sabihin, tama yung direction natin. Okay? So, positive 500 pounds feet. And, since ang ating TBC is to the left, ibig sabihin, clockwise. Okay? So, yun yung napag-usapan natin. Okay? So, shear stresses na. Okay? So, number one. Shear stresses. Balikan natin yung equation natin sa shear stress natin. So, shear stress natin is equals to PR over J. Ayan. So, ang ating shear stress for segment AB is equals to okay, TR over J for segment AB. Okay, so yung ating shear stress for segment AB is equals to torque. Ang torque natin is 900. Okay, so 900. Sama natin yung mga unit para makita natin kung ano yung cancel Ah, okay, so since fit to, inch yung naka-given dito eh. So, i-convert natin to into feet. Sorry, into inches. So, multiply natin ng 2, ah, sorry, 12 inches per feet. Okay? So, radius. So, radius to. Okay, so diameter to, no? So, i-divide natin ng 2. So, that is 1 inch. Okay? Over J. So, solve natin yung J natin. So, J is equals to pi R to the fourth over 2. Okay, so ito yung equation na nagawa na uh, nakuha natin noon sa introduction. So pi r, ang r natin is 1 inch to the fourth n over 2. So ilan to? So pi 1 to the fourth. Ah, okay. So pi over 2 lang naman. Kinal ko pa. So ano, 0.5 pi. Okay. So 0.5 pi. And that is inch to the fourth. Ayan. So, check natin kung ano yung mga cancel. So, cancel dito yung pounds. Ah, sorry, feet. Ayan. So, this is inch squared. So, cancel yun dito sa baba. So, matitira dito is inch squared. Okay? So, PSI. Kasi pounds per inch squared. Okay? So, ang ating ano, uh, shear stress per segment AB is 900 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1 over 0.5 pi. Ayan. So, 6, 8, 7, 5. So, 6, 8, 7, 5 point 4, 4, 9, 4. 4, 9, 4. PSI. Okay. So, this is our shear stress for segment AB. And next, shear stress for segment BC. So, TR over J for segment BC. So, ang torque natin for BC is, sorry, ito, ilan pala ito? 0.5 pi. Yeah, so, this is inch to the fourth. Yeah, so, ito nyan. Wait, no? Ilipat na. Uh, iusog natin. Yeah. So, ang ating torque dito is 500. 500 pounds feet. So, convert natin. So, 12 inch per feet. Then, ang R natin is 1 inch over. Okay, isa lang naman yung J natin. Hindi naman magbabago kasi isa lang natin yung cross-sectional area along the length from C to A. Okay? 
So, that is 0.5 pi inch to fourth. So, cancel pa rin yung mga yan. Cancel ang feet, cancel ang inch squared dito. Okay? So, ang ating shear stress for segment BC is, okay, patan na lang natin to, ng 500. And so, 3819.719. So, 3819.719 PSI. Okay, so this is our shear stress for segment BC. Okay, so madali lang. Tama ba? Kasi parang ano lang, normal stress lang. Tama? Kinakat lang natin. Ang nagka, nag-iba lang dito is yung um, yung mga forces natin naging na siyang torque. Okay? So, same lang naman kasi indirect or nakadirection pa rin naman yung mga forces ay yung mga torque natin. Okay? So, number two. Yung angle of twist. So, meron siyang ano? Yung angle of twist daw sa end A. Okay? So, angle of twist at A. Sa so, equation natin, ang ating angle of twist is TL over G. Okay? So, rito, kailangan natin kunin yung lahat ng torque okay, mula sa A. Okay, so, ano ba yung mga torque mula sa A? That is, okay, torque. Okay. So, dito, yung ating angle of twist at A is equivalent to the summation of all angle of twist. Okay? So, that is the angle of twist at segment AB. Okay, ayan. Plus, the angle of twist at segment B. C. Ayan. So, kailangan natin kunin yung angle of twist ng segment AB and BC para makuha natin yung angle of twist at A. Okay? So, ano lang siya? Parang, paano ba yun? Hmm, wala pa kasi tayo sa deflection eh. Anyway, okay. So, dito yung angle of twist natin, okay, is the summation of the angle of twist Okay? From this segment, from A to B. Ayan. Kasi meron tayong ano, di ba? Internal, okay, torque dito sa AB. And that is the 900 pounds feet. Ayan. So, merong torque yun. Uh, sorry, merong angle of twist yun. And yung angle of twist na yun is mag-dependent dito sa rotation na yan. Ayan. Then from, ano, um, segment CB or BC, meron na naman tayong another torque. So, sabihin ko, meron tayong another torque dito, meron na naman tayong another angle of twist. And magdepende yon sa rotation ng ating internal torque. Okay? So yon. So kung natin isa isa. So angle of twist at segment AB, okay, is equals to TL over GJ for segment AB. So angle of twist natin at segment AB is equals to Torque natin is 900 pounds, pounds feet. So, i-convert natin into inch. Ayan. Then, ang ating length is 5 feet. So, i-convert natin into inch. Ayan. Over G. Ang ating G is 12 times 10 raised to 6. So, PSI. So, okay lang. Magka-cancel yung pounds dito. Then, yung ano, square inch natin. Okay? So, this is um, J natin is 0.5 inch to 4. Ayan. Sorry. Hindi na kasi kasya, kaya hindi ko na malagay yung mga unit. Anyway, dito natin ilagay unit, okay? So, ito nyan is, ano, uh, pound, pounds inch, okay? Yan. Then, ito, inches din yung ating length. Over, yung G natin is PSI. So, that is pounds per inch squared. Then, ang ating, ano, J is inch to the fourth. Ayan. So, check natin kung ano yung magka-cancel. Cancel ang pounds natin. This is inch squared. Tama ba? So, ito, inch squared. Cancel to. So, this is inch squared. So, cancel din ng inch squared. So, tama tayo. Ang makukuha natin sa angle of twist is radians. Okay? So, angle of twist for AB is 900 times 12 multiplied by 5 times 12 over 12 times 10 raised to 6 multiplied by 0.5 by 
Ayan. So, 0.0344. So, 0.0344 in radians. So, para sa AB yan. Okay. So, doon naman sa ano? Sa BC. So, substitute na kagad natin. TL over GJ for BC. Ang T natin is 500. Okay. Multiplied by 12. Multiplied by length. Ang length niya is 3 feet. Okay. So, multiplied by 12. Over. G, 12 times 10 raised to 6. Parehas lang naman sila ng G. Then, parehas rin sila ng J. 0.5 pi. So, angle of twist for segment BC is... So, cans, i, ano natin? Pata na lang natin ito ng 5. Then, ito, pata natin ng 3. So, 0 0.0115. So, 0 0.0115 regions. So, kunin natin yung ating angle of twist at point A. So, angle of twist at AB. So, since clockwise to, okay? So, since para naman silang clockwise, mag-add sila. Okay? So, this is 0 0.0344 plus 0 0.0115. Ayan. So, angle of twist at A is... 0 0.0344 plus 0, 0 0.0115. So, this is 0 0.0459. So, 0 0.0459 in region. So, ito na yung ating angle of twist for point A. Yan. Okay? So, pwede nyo rin naman i-convert to into degrees. So, paano natin i-convert into degrees yan? So, angle of twist at A is equals to 0 0.0459. Kasi naka-radians. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, since radians to, so dapat sa baba yung pi. Over 180 degrees. Ayan. So, pwede rin naman. So, multiplied by 180 over pi. So, 2.63. So, 2.63 degrees. Ayan siya. Ayan. Okay? So, sir, bakit po ganito yung, ano, yung sa angle of twist? Bakit A over B? So, ibig sabihin lang yan, ano, um, the angle of twist at A with respect to point B. Okay? Then, ito naman, the angle of, ano, of twist at point B with respect to C. Yun lang ang ibig niyang sabihin. Anyway, mas mapapractice nyo tong ano, pagbabasa ng ganito sa, ano, um, beam deflection. Sa beam deflection kasi meron tayong ano, tinatawag na slope. So, yung slope doon, ano, slope at A with respect to point na ganito, ganun. Uh, so, ganun lang yung ano, yung ganito. So, okay lang din naman siya kung gawin yung ano, okay, hindi siya pwede eh. So, dapat gan ganito lang talaga siya. So, are, angle of twist at A with respect to B. So, with this, ano, within this length lang or segment. Then, this is the angle of twist at B with respect to C. Uh, with this, within this length lang. Okay? So, within, ano, ah, sorry, in terms of, ano naman, sign convention. So, since, ano naman siya, eh, papalayo. Okay? So, dito kasi, ano siya, parang intensile. Okay? So, sinabi ko na rin yung sa, ano, ba introduction. Kapag papalayo, positive. Okay? Kapag papalapit, negative. Okay? So, dun, dito natin gagamitin yung sa angle of twist. So, since parehas sila papalayo, nagpositive sila parehas. Okay? Ayan. Dun natin gagamitin yung sign convention na yun. Okay, so this is our example number one for torsion in circular shape.